Okay, so Tara, first we are going to solve this question using the elimination method. Okay, so you have to solve this using elimination method. So let's start. Yes. Okay, so tell me what are we going to do first? It's okay if you'll get stuck at any point, I'll help you. But we can start. Okay, so can we write equation like Two x plus three y equal three, and then x plus two y equal two. Yes, absolutely. So first, I'll write on both the equations. So x plus two y is equal to two, and two x plus three y is equal to three. Next. Uh, now, uh, in first equation, we will multiply two. Okay, so I'll do one thing, Manya. I'll just put the name of these two equations here only. This is equation one. And this is equation two. Now you can tell me what do you want to do. You are saying that you want to multiply the first equation by two, I guess, right? Yes, yes. Very good. Tell me. Next step. And now we will write 2x. 2x. Plus 4y. Plus 4y. Uh, equal to 4. Very good. Okay. Um... Now we will write uh, the second equation as it is. Very good. So 2x plus y is equal to 3. Now, what do you think you should be doing here? Uh, 2x plus 2x will be get added. It will be 4x. Okay. So I just want to ask you here one thing. Uh, that What do you think? If you will add both the equations... You will be getting 4x. Imagine, okay? You will be getting 4x and the y will become 7y. Is there any benefit in this? Is there no. any one variable which is getting eliminated, Manya? I think we will change okay. the sign. Yes. So what are you going to do in this case? You are going to subtract this, right? And when yes. we are going to subtract this, of course, you are going to change the sign. So whenever we subtract the equation, we change the sign first. So whatever sign in the second row, you can see, just usko alternate kar dena. That's it. Okay. So this plus will become minus. This plus will become minus. minus and this plus. plus will become minus. Right. Okay. So next. Uh, now 2x and 2x get cancelled from each Very other. Very good. Yes, that will get cancelled. What about the second one? Uh, it will remain y very good 4y minus 3y will become y that's absolutely correct and what about the next one it will also come 1 1 very good we have got the value of y we are done y with y we are done with the y but we still have to find x so what are we going to do uh, now we will take any one equation. Any one. So which one do you want to choose? Uh, uh, x, no, 2x plus 3y equals so 3. But why are you taking the 2? Is Don't you think the 1 is like little simpler? You want to take the complicated one? I'm not saying that you'll not get the correct answer. You will be getting correct answer anyhow. But... Like, you can choose equation 1, right? Yes. Yes, okay. So, whatever equation you are choosing, you can just write on that from equation 1. I'm again repeating, I'm not saying that if you choose equation 2, then you will get a wrong answer. You'll be getting the same answer. But it's just there I can see that, you know, that will be a little simpler. So, from equation 1, we have x plus 2y is equal to 2. Now, can you tell me the next step? No, x will be remain as it is. Then okay. plus 2 uh, into 1. Uh, x will be equal to, okay, x plus 2 into 1. Equal to 2. Very good. Next. Then x plus 2 equal to. Just a second. x plus 2 into 1 is 2 is equal to 2. That's correct. Two. Next. Now, x will be remain there equal to 2 minus 2. Very good. So, x will become 2 minus 2. 
What is the answer? Zero. That is correct. And we have got X also, right? Yes. So we have got this X and Y using the elimination method. Now we'll be solving the same question using the substitution method, right? Okay. Okay. So you understood the elimination method very properly or do you have any doubt? No doubt. No doubt. Okay. So let's solve the same question using the substitution method. Your answer will be coming, of course, the same, but you have to change the method. Now you have to you know, use the substitution method. So let me write down the question again. So x plus 2y equals 2. That's your first equation. And the second one is 2x plus 3y is equal to 3. If you remember how I explained to, uh, you know, uh, to use the substitution method, you can start. Yes. Okay. So first we will write x plus 2y equal to. Okay, very good. Now x will be remain there. Uh, okay. Equal to minus 2y. Very good. Next. Now from equation, uh, we will take right. second should I, name this as, should I name this as equation 1? Yes. Okay. Next. You can say that now we have the next now one. Now we have second equation. Second equation. So what is the second equation that you have? 2x plus 3y equals 3. Very good. Next. Mm, 2x will be remain same into 2 minus... It will remain same. But uh, don't you think that you have to substitute? Minus. Yes. Correct. Okay. Right. So, 2 minus 2y. Correct. Okay. Plus, plus. 3y. Correct. Equal 3. Correct. Next. Uh, 4 minus. Minus. 4y. 4y. Plus 3y. Equal 3. Plus. Okay. 4 minus y. Sorry. Plus minus. Yes. 4 minus y. Equal 3. Very good. Okay. So what is the value of y? Minus y will be remain same. Equal. Minus y will remain same equal. Three uh, minus four. Correct. Three minus four. So what is minus y? Minus one. Minus one. But Manya, we we don't want a uh, minus y. We want y. So what are you going to do now? I think y will go in plus. Very good. You can directly say that minus y will become plus y. You are shifting it to the other side. And this minus 1 will become plus 1. You are shifting to the other side. So it is yes. like, you know, the minus minus sign got cancelled. So you can directly write on y is equal to 1. I hope you understood this step. Yes. Okay. So we have got the y. Now you have to find, of course, x. So what will you do? You will put y is equal to 1 in equation 1, Mame? Yes. Okay, so can you tell me the answer? Uh, first, we will write x equal to minus 2y. Okay. Then uh, x equal to minus 2 into 1. 2 minus 2 into 1. Okay, so what is the answer? Um... 2 minus 2. Very good. Which is? 0. That's it. We are done. So if you can notice that even when we when we use the elimination method, we got the same answer. X0 and Y1. Here also we got the same answer. Clear? You understood yes. this very properly? Okay. So next class, we are going to understand cross multiplication method. Just one thing I would advise you. I'll just remind you again. That in the board exam, if you will get these questions, solve the linear equation and nothing is mentioned, you can use any of the methods. Okay. But if it is specifically mentioned that, you know, you have to use the substitution method only, then you will not use any other method. If it says elimination method, then you have to use that method only. 
if it is not saying anything you use your like you know you choose any of the three methods the third method we will be understanding in the next class okay okay yes okay. all right so i'll see you uh, tomorrow yes all right and i'll just share this with you and you can just rewatch this again and again okay okay all right then manya take care and i will see you in the next class okay yes that is tomorrow okay bye take care manya you too yeah thank you